Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of Fortress Craft Evolved Eternal Night. Uh, what else have we got? Frozen Factory, 64 bit mode. And we are live streaming. Now, we never used to uh, do a lot of live streaming because we used to find it extremely laggy. But it's been a lot, a lot of improvement okay a lot of improvements so we're just going to put a title on and then we will um, just got to put the number on so that's done there so edit info here and we've got number 20 okay and then we can close both of those windows and we can resume so what are we doing? What are we doing? Now, I have got 100 units of tin. About bloody time. So, we're going to go to our lab. Okay, now, has our lab done it? Has it finished it? No, it's waiting for it. So, by the time we get back up, it's going to be done. Now, because we want to show you one of the things that, that the why we wanted a hundred conveyor belts, okay? Now we've gone all that way down there. We've got everything that we uh, wanted uh, for that there. But this is why we are coming down to this level, okay? Now this is the lift level I believe we're going to because we are doing the lithium line now currently earlier on in a couple of the episodes we laid this okay and we didn't do it by hand now we've got this thing here with us okay this is one of uh, DJ's nice saving tools and it is going to lay the track for us okay so we are going to open this okay and we are going to put in absolutely jack shit because we didn't make the fucking oh my god what a first time and knob move that's a live stream fail there my god Uh, how can how can after doing hours and hours and hours of playing track can I forget? You've got to make the damn track first. Right. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. So there we go. There we go. Confair belts. We've only got 58 copper there. That's not not enough. Okay. Fair belt. Craft twenty five. Crafting. 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 One hundred units. How oh, about down we go? Now when we've done this, we're at level a hundred and twenty eight. So we'll still need twenty eight conveyor belts but we're going to lay those 28 by hand it's these 100 that we're not going to lay by hand right in there whoops number one see there we go bang straight up See, go down, look. That's it. It's done. It is done. And oh my God, and I'm so fucking glad that that is done. So now we've got lithium going all the way up there. Okay. Got lithium going there. So what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to be doing seven here. We're going to leave this one down here. 
okay and we're gonna leave um, this one down here I think to tell you the truth we're gonna leave it set up okay so number seven okay and number nine we're gonna leave set up there okay now we're gonna put the power cube here so we're not gonna fill it so when we're ready and got another hundred units bang straight up there so now we're gonna go back up right so our research should be done Research. Okay. Yay! We finally got it after hours of doing it. Oh. So let's go and see what our next research project is. Okay. Projects. So, the advanced metal upgrades, okay, um, gives you, oh, I don't know what one that one is, um, but I, I, we'll, we'll have a look, we'll have a look. Okay, now for this, you're going to need, look, gold, okay. We're not bringing gold up yet. But let's see what it does. Gives you Mark 3, Mark 4, Mark 5. Don't even think we need Mark 5. This is new to me the Arc Smelter. Uh, that is new. Anti matter drill. Basic quarry. We, we, we really would like that. Plasma head charger. We don't know what that one is. We've never used it. That's new to us as well. Yes, we, we'll, we'll, ignore, we'll ignore that because we're not interested. Uh, resin, I had that but we died. Advanced power grid, we're not going to use that because you're using ultimate. Uh, I think ultimate is t is titanium. Um, metal alloys, okay, we're going to have a look at this one. This is going to do extra large experimental pods, basic experimental pods and intermediate. So, what does that give us? Okay, metal alloys. Okay, extra large is nickel, by the way. So we need to be build the uh, nickel level. Uh, and this gives you level three lasers, hardened block assembler, alloy block assembler, build gun two, which we want. Toxic particles, so we can go further down. Still alloy, advanced machine block, still cutter heads, which we're looking forward to, and crystal cutter heads. And you get alloyed machine block, hardened machine block, and a manufacturing plant. Fucking <laughs> finally, that's all I can bloody well say to that. Okay, so we're now going to go back and I'm going to go and do metal alloys. Okay, metal alloys. Here we come. Here we come. Here we come. Here we come. Yes, here we come. Here we come. Right. So, we're going to do this and we're going to go down and select metal alloys and we're going to go start. And you can see just how quick this is going to go down. It's really going to go down quickly. Okay, because of we're not having the storage now. Okay, but you can see it going down. So, there you go. Let's go and see what we can make because. 
I think we've got the drill headers in and I do want the drill headers in. Now, drills. Right, VFL 9000, 9, right, okay. Kinda not interested in it. Okay, all it does, um, massive horizontal la uh, mining laser used to bore out straight tunnels five by five minutes across massive energy demands yeah we kind of don't even bother with that one uh workflow excavator we had that but we wasn't really interested it just took too much okay um so those 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 anything changed i don't think anything else has much changed so we're gonna have to see what recipes we've got We see we can't do any of those until we get the build T2 gun. See, so we've got Mark II turret. We could start making those because we've got charged um, guns there. We did used to make our own factories, uh, our, our own factory. We might even still do that. So let's see what uh, recipes we've got. Recipes 16. Okay. Fusion drill. Geological survey. Okay. Still. We'll research it. It's only one. Auto excavator. Um, yeah, could do, I guess could do now we're not sure about the logistics folk now we don't know what the difference okay so I think these automatically collects items from Falkner beacons mounted on storage items okay we're not going to use that though no nope. Okay, so I was hoping I was hoping we would have some bits and pieces. We still haven't got anything that's useful. impressed not impressed fusion drill could go up but we're not going to because we haven't got when we get a T2 line we will have a fusion drill now geological survey okay um, Yeah, so this is going to be the quarry, so we can do that later on. It does take power. Okay, but, you know, we know what it does. We're, we're no rush for it. So, next job is power down or power back up to our um, nickel line and this is the line that we're going to uh, be we're, we're going to start going once we've got nickel coming in and we've got nickel being smelted yeah we can start um, thinking about building the nickel uh, level okay 
Um, I might have it as a different building. I might keep it so um, it's on the same building because we can build at maximum height. We'll, we'll just have to wait and see. Um, but there are the T21s there, so I might, I might leave it because, to be honest, we're quite a bit high up there. Um, but there again, I don't really care. Um, because I've got, I've got the room. So let's see, let's see what we're gonna, what, uh, what we're gonna do. So lasers, okay. So we need tin. Always, always need tin. Seventy-two. So that's good. So, um, what we got here? Power storage. So, we're going to do. Uh, so we've got one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Should be more than enough. Okay, so we want So we want ten there. Now I want guns. Okay, we want T ones, so I need iron plates. Do I just need iron plates or do, do I need anything else? Uh, iron plates. go crafting crafting what's the threat level So now we've got our new conveyors in, you can see that we've got 11 Minox detected, okay. Four hundred and sixty-six. Right, let's go start putting the uh, power in. Now, when doing a power line, okay, there's two ways that you can do it and there's only one way that I do it. I have my coal power plant up top working 24 7 only ever uses coal do not need anything else okay right if you start using t3s and t4 lasers you might start needing something else but it all depends how quickly you want to um, mine okay we're in no rush we like doing it as we are. Now this is going to cause us a problem. Okay. And there's only one way I know how to get, get past it. And that's with a matter of fact. And even then, it's not going to be uh, perfect because we ain't got T2 crystals. You're probably going to ask why I haven't built a lift. Because that takes power. Hi Fortress! No, no, I actually had Fortress, I actually had about two or three hours sleep. And then I had a little bit of relaxation. 
so we're, we're just doing um, a, li a little bit of a um, little bit of le um, or oh, what was it um, laying down the lines the transportation lines it just took us 40 minutes to lay down the whole of this transportation line now I will say one thing okay right if you are going to want Minox right okay we are going to show you how to set a Minox trap oh let us know how it goes let us know how they go right so we're going to show you a Minox trap Okay, so what we're going to be doing is getting really pissy because we've got that there. Okay. Because we want Minox. Okay, we really, really do want Minox because we do not want to go hunting for them. Uh, sorry, not Minox. Uh, what are they? What are, what are they? What are they called? They are called camo bots. We want camo bots. Okay. So we're going to set a small trap up. So we're going to put a gun on here. Okay. Now, and then we're going to press E. And then we're going to keep digging until we get past the E zone. Now why we call it the E-Zone, is because when you're past the E-Zone, you're out of the target range. And I don't know if anyone knows how to do this, but no one has probably worked it out already. Okay, right. you're going to do is you're going to stick a block down there okay you're going to stick a block down there and then what you're going to do is um, So what what that is going to do is it's going to power it's going to power this. Yes, fortress, you can trap camo box. You can trap camo box. I thought everybody knew how to trap a camo box. So what we're going to be doing now is we're going to widen this room, right? Okay, we're going to really widen it open. Yeah. So we have got one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to dig that, that part out there. Okay, and then we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Now, I, I don't have any torches on me, so I do apologise. Okay, I need to go and get some of those. So, what we do, we're going to five by five square room. Okay. So we've got one, two, three, four, I think that's five. One, two, three, four, five. Now, camo box, this is actually what camo box do. Okay, they will come and see dinner time because they're seeking that energy there. Okay, and what, what, what camo box eat? So you can go wandering around the caverns all you like, looking for, uh, what is it, um, organic rock, or you can do it this way, okay, 
Now, camo bots are pesky little things. Okay. So this is why I put guns on my line. And that's it. You're going to leave that there. Okay. Now that is a 5x5 five five square room. It doesn't have to be 5x5. Five five. It doesn't have to be be um, anything. It could be a 3x3. A three three. It could be a 4x4. Four four. It could be a 50x50 50 50 room. But the reason I do 5x5 five five is because it's quick and easy to make. Okay. Now the camo bots will come anywhere direction. Up top, bottom or ground. Just leave it on there because you're going to want something to walk from. So we've only got three high. Okay, just three high. So five by five by three. Okay, and just leave it. Don't do anything. And remember, when you press E, it must be outside of this field. You cannot make you cannot have it on the edge or just on the one. It's got to be outside. Okay, it's got to be outside. All right. Now, what you're going to do now is we're going to take up this and we're going to take up that. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to put a gun on there. Okay. I'm going to put a gun on there. Sorry, not not there. I'm going to put a gun on there. Now the reason that gun needs to be on the side is because what you're going to do is we are going to start connecting the power lines so you're going to have the line powered here okay you're going to put your cube here okay so it starts to power it you're going to put your um, power line here uh, where are we come on ah you're going to put, uh, let's see, come on, open up inventory, number eight, you're going to put your gun there, and then you're going to clear uh, a little bit around, you don't have to, doesn't need line of sight, okay, I prefer to have line of sight, okay, so you're going to do that there, all right? Then what you're going to do is you're going to take that, 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 and take all of that out, and then you're going to go number two. And you've got nickel automated, and that's it, mate. That's all you're going to do. Now what we're going to do is on each and one of these, you're going to take that one off of there going to go one here uh, number two there and put that down there right and now you're going to go and press E and hopefully that will hit just on the corner which it does and then you're going to do the same procedure okay you're going to go number six put that on there okay you're going to hit number seven put that on there okay and then you're going to put nothing on that gun so what you need to do is you need to go back to the gun here okay need to put it on and you need to stop your line there so it's not right on the edge it's one there okay it's one so now we can go if we want to yeah Right, we're going to put number six here. We're going to put a camera. We're going to put 
a, a line there, yeah. Now, see this bot here? See this? Yeah, which looks like a little bit of titanium. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a camo bot. Okay. That is a camo bot. Okay, so we know that we've got a camo bot there. All right, we're not going to touch it. We're going to leave that on. We're going to leave that on. And then we're going to go back upstairs because we are going to need to get some more um, stuff. Now, don't forget you've turned off your, st your uh, what's the name there? Okay. And look, you've got another camo bot here. Okay, be careful. Make sure you go to the side. Okay, as long as you don't turn and face them, they won't kill you. If you turn and face them, you're dead. back up so while we're here we're gonna press F1 we're gonna press number four and T T T and T number five T right did we win or lose the last fight 825 oh my god that's getting that that's getting harder there that's getting harder now so number three here right what have we got here 58 So since we've done a lot of work, we're going to have a little bit of play time, okay? Now when I've been for a deep dig, I always make sure I go and exit that. Now the other thing that we can do here now is um, we can... What we're going to do is, where are they? X number eight. Okay, we're now going to put on okay, like so. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we're going to go to number five here. We go T T T T T T. Okay, and we're going to go T like so. I'm just going to leave it. Right. So let's see. Where are we? 
Right, first of all, they're coming from this way. Now, the reason they're coming from this way is that this is the weakest point. Okay, we know they're coming from this way because Henrietta is there. Okay, so we're going to do X and we're going to do number um, number zero. Yeah. And we are going to put them here. Here. Come to daddy, come and die. And of course our mass rider is going as well. I might get the odd, the odd one here and now, but we're, we're going to be waiting for it to come in. And that's because of Henrietta. She does a very good bloody job. I'm glad, glad we've got her. Now at the moment we can just take our time with them because they're not very, um, you know, not much of a threat. I wonder, yes, number three, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to take uh, this here, uh, control, Now it is worth doing this by the way.
All right, uh, Fortress. Have a good night, mate. Right, so now that we've got uh, a better thing here, and if you're now, now, we, now we can just shoot them and don't got to worry about them going on the floor. We just run around and pick them up. Still not very impressed. If this is a threat level of 500 or something. Threat level 825. It's nothing. This is nothing. Is, is, is that it? Really? Is that it? Okay, Henrietta is doing her job too good. Well, we've got a couple of wasps coming. See some flutter of wings here. Okay, that was it. That uh, weren't too bad. Weren't too... I don't want an ore thief. Stop it. So we need to go and get some more guns. So we need to find out what the recipe is again. Uh, so guns are uh, hardened PCPs, iron plates and tin bars. So we're going to go and get some tin bars. Okay. Go and get some. Oh, look, we missed, we missed the line. Look, oh, well, 
well, never mind. Okay, so. Iron plates. Iron PCBs. And I still forgot to bring it. I still forgot to bring it. I can't bring any of them. Okay, so we're back logged up on this one. So that will that 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 will do. Now our camo bot trap is still empty. But we do have one, if you look on the chair, look on the stairs. We are going to put a gun here, right on, on this one. So let me sit up. Okay, and I didn't make it, did I? What a knob. I must be tired if I keep making stupid mistakes like that. So this one, you see, covers all of here, 
okay covers all of that so we can now turn that and you've got a camo bot there by the way okay to organic rock so what we're going to be doing now I'm going to press E Okay, and then this is the um, come on number six. Okay, so that's the next line there. Okay, because I kind of like them to overlap. Okay, do that, it overlaps. So, number six, seven. So we can now go back. We've still got that coming there. Now, hopefully, that will finish there. Yes, it does. So put torch down. Okay, and you're going to put your cue down, number six. And it's and it's basically the uh, the same uh, number seven. Okay, making sure that these are okay. Now this a little bit different from what you would normally do. Just going to dig up one side. Okay, I'm going to press E. Well, what you're going to do is you're going to put the gun on the side. Okay, number eight. E. Okay, and then what you're going to do is you're going to get number three. Okay, we can't uh, go any further up there because we are out, but you're going to put um, a torch down. Just there. Where that torch is, is where your um, right is where you're going to go with the um, there so you are going to go with the torch number six okay that's where it covers okay and then you're going to put um, you're not going to put anything here but you are going to turn off that because you've got that to go through okay and that is the thing that we're going to go through now.
take that okay and we are going to go and get a blue cube because that's what we're going to need blue cube luckily we have a blue cube got anything on our trap yes there you go you see you've got one working towards it okay they'll eventually find their way there they'll find out that it's a safe haven for them until you come along and shoot shoot them Right, we're going to go back up again.
a blue cube. One top. We will see you next time, ladies and gentlemen, when we see when we start powering through these uh, through this through this rock because we've got 1500 there. Okay, that will give us a lot more power to uh, pull. We'll see you soon. Have fun. Stay safe. Bye for now.